Hello children, welcome back to my channel and today in polygons we are going to find the value of x in the given figures. So let us start. Now if you look closely at this figure children, the x is here which is an exterior angle and they have asked us to find the value of x, right? So uh, if you see these are four lines, right? And interior angles are these which I am marking with the red color. These are interior angles because they are inside the figure. And 90 degree, 50 degree, 110 and X, they are the exterior angles. And we know that sum of exterior angles of a polygon is equal to 360. That means when you add these exterior angles, their sum should be 360. So let us start. Angle C is 90 exterior plus angle 50 which is another exterior angle with 110 and x together should form 360 degree right so let us add this 90 plus 50 plus 110 is 250 250 plus x is equal to 360 and therefore x is equal to 360 minus 250 which is nothing but 110 degree so, we have got the value of x as 110 degree. Okay. So, let us go to the next sum. Now, this is in the shape of a triangle children. Right. And these, there are three lines and there are three exterior angles formed. Angle A is uh, x. Angle B, no. Angle A is, yeah, x. Angle B is 125 and angle C is 125. So, if you add these sum of exterior angles, they should work out to 360. So, let us add angle A plus angle B which is 125 plus angle C exterior angle is another 125. When you add this, they should be 360 degree. So, X plus 125 plus 125 is 250 is equal to 360 and therefore x is equal to 360 minus 250 which is again 110 degree in this case. So here we have found the value 110. x is equal to 110. Now let us go to the third figure children. Now this is in the shape of a pentagon right and five lines because pentagon but they are irregular pentagon. So there are five lines that means there will be five exterior angles. 1 is 60, second is 90 because if they put like this, it means it is 90, third is 70, fourth is x. But if you see here, fifth exterior angle, information is not given. That means first we have to find out what is this exterior angle. Now if you see this is a line segment, right? This PQ is a line segment and RQ is standing on it. So RQ is a ray which is standing on PQ, right? And here they have marked the interior angle as 90 degree. So, actually whenever there is a line and a ray stands on it, they form a linear pair. Interior angle plus exterior angle will always form a linear pair which is equal to 180 degree. So, now interior angle is 90 degree. So, what will be exterior angle? 180 minus 90. So here first you have to find that this is also 90 degree and write it here. Okay. So out of 5 exterior angles, we have 4 exterior angles. So now we have to just add them and find out the value of x. So the first angle is 60 degree plus this shape tells us that it is a right angle 90 degree. Angle T is 70, angle P is X and angle Q which we found out now is 90. So the sum of all these exterior angles together will form 360 degree. So when you add this, it is 310 plus X is equal to 360. X is equal to 360 degree minus 310 and X is equal to 50 degree. So here we have got the value of x as 50 degree. So it is very easy if you know this sum of exterior angles of a polygon is 360. Let
let us go to the last sum now see this is the figure children they have told that the bisectors of angle a and b meet at point p that means this is the bisector of a and this is the bisector of b and they meet at point p find measure of angle apb so they have asked us what is the measurement of this okay so now for some time let me remove this triangle okay so now here what can you see that this is in the shape of a quadrilateral and we have learnt now that sum of angles of a quadrilateral is 3, uh, 60 so let us find out this angle 50 that is angle b i will write angle a plus angle b plus angle c plus angle d is equal to 360 degree children now we don't know angle a and angle b so let us write them as it is but angle c is 100 and angle d is 50 degree right so this is equal to 360 so angle a plus angle b plus 150 is equal to 360 degree so angle a plus angle b is equal to when you take 150 this side it will become minus so 360 minus 150 is 210 so now we know that if you add this to the sum is 210 so let us assume this is the first equation we have arrived at okay now they told that the angle a and angle b are the bisectors that meet at point p that means if you draw them like this they meet at point p that means what does the word bisector means that means this line cuts angle a into two equal half so now if you see this figure it is in the shape of a triangle and we know that according to angle, angle sum property the sum of angles of a triangle is 180 that means this half of a and this half of b plus angle p so these three together put they will form 180 degree so in, how will you show this uh, interior angle children we can write this interior angle as half of a because this line cuts this into two equal and this also we can write as half of angle B and this we will write as angle P. So let us start in triangle APB. So this is a triangle APB half of A plus half of B plus angle P equal to 180. So what is the reason children? sum of angles of a triangle is 180 right now if you see in this half is common so we will take out that half outside and what is remaining then inside a plus b plus angle p equal to 180 half of now we have already solved what is angle A plus angle B? It is 210. So instead of A plus B, now I will write here 210. And if there is no sign between these two, that means it is multiplication. Plus angle P is equal to 180. So 2 ones are 2 into 105 is 210. So 105 plus angle P is equal to 180. Therefore, P is equal to, angle P is equal to 180. When 105 goes this side, it will become minus 105 and answer is 75 degree. So, we have got angle P as 75 degree. So, angle P is equal to 75 degree. So, here we have to do in two steps. One is 360 for the quadrilateral and another is 180 for the triangle. So, hope you understood this sums children. See you in next lecture with many more such.